It's the Games and Craps Podcast. This week, we go through our Games of the Week, give our thoughts on NXT TakeOver UK, as well as this week's War and Smackdown. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Games and Grabs podcast. This is episode 87. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, how are you? I'm tired. Tired? I'm yeah. really tired. I don't know, Finny. Um, <laughs> I've been up about now, 40 this... minutes. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was up really late playing PlayStation VR last night, like, till like 2 in the morning. Nice. I'll be there. Yeah, I woke up at like <laughs> 9 a.m. I was Oof. like, oh, okay, great. And then I went back to sleep and I woke up and it was half 11 oh God. <laughs> and I had to be here for 12. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty tired today. This coffee that you've uh, made me is uh, keeping me alive right now. So oh, good. that's, that's right, uh, good times. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Um, what have you been playing this week? Uh, what have I been playing? I'm playing uh, Moss on VR, speaking of PlayStation VR. Um, a Platinum Nat, so that's good. Was uh, it as good as everybody says it is? It's very good. Uh, I think Astrobot is better in my opinion. Okay. Uh, there are a few bugs I had with Moss, um, just some sort of weird man glitches. Uh, also, the no death trophy is A, annoying, and B, didn't unlock for me the first time I did it. So that's going to do it Oof. again. Yeah. Is that no deaths throughout the whole game? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's it's rough. It's, it's, it's only a short game. You can beat it in like a couple of hours. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, the first time I did it with no deaths, it didn't count for whatever reason. Good, <laughs> good <laughs> stuff. Just, just love when that happens. Yeah, yeah. So I deleted my, delete my almost save data and just went back and did it all again, and it was fine. So... Thank Christ. Cool. I need to play through yeah. it. Definitely. I'm going to steal it from you. Yeah, totally. I'll give you this. Um, it looks great. Is it... Does it have the... You know, obviously, Astro Bot has the the following camera. Mm-hmm. Is it like that? Or is it sort of... Are you looking at it from a different perspective? Uh, basically, you're, look, you're looking at it from, like, looking down on it, basically. And, like, if you get, every time you're trying to do a new room, it changes to the next room. Oh. So, like, yeah. And you can look in and look around for, like, collectibles and things. Um, so, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a cool cool. Idea, cool. I'm looking forward to playing it. I am yeah. looking forward to playing it. Good stuff. Uh, also, we played the Spider Man DLC, which was bought on sale a little while ago. Cool. Uh, that's all good. I believe fun. Um, we'll see a lot of it revolves around just combat. So it's like just throwing more and more and more enemies at you, which is like most of the missions. It's like, okay, clearly done with a bit more variety, maybe, but it's still fun. It's always fun. So, how long is good. it? Um, Cause it's, it's been three episodes, right? Yeah, three episodes. Okay. I think like a, a couple of hours per episode. Okay. Yeah, it's good. They've got it out quick. Yeah, haven't like, they? Yeah. Really, really quick. I mean, I don't know if there's anything more to come. Uh, no, I think that's it now. The way that's the way it. the way it ended is like very uh, ending. Heavy. It's like it, it ended it. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Like, yeah. It's it like a possible sequel, which is cool. Um, but also ends that story like you know, once and for all. There's no possible sequel about it that <laughs> will definitely happen. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> It'd be, that'd be a PlayStation Five game though. We won't sort Oof. of see that on PS4. PlayStation Five, God Almighty. Time has flown by. <laughs> it feels like just PlayStation Four didn't just come out. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I, I feel like that as well. I mean, to yeah. be honest, I felt like that with the PS3 too. So, like when the like, I was you know very happily just <laughs> playing PS3 and really enjoying myself, and then all of a sudden the PlayStation 4 is announced. I'm like, I don't really need this. <laughs> yeah. But now with this, with PS4, or like with the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, I don't feel like I need a new generation. I don't, I don't yeah. see how it gets better. Yeah, like it looks. The games look so good now. It's like ridiculous. Like Spider Man looks insane. Like 4K HDR, it looks so, so good. Yeah, it's it's outrageous how great the games look now. Like, yeah. when The Last of Us comes out, I'm, I have no doubt that it'll be mind-blowing. Is... But how do you improve on that? Yeah, seriously. But I don't feel like we need another console generation. I think we should just make a, a console, don't give it a number, and just let us play it forever. <laughs> yeah. Until you really do advanced technology. Yeah. So much that it's like, okay, now, you know, these PS4 or this PS... 27. Yeah. <laughs> look, starting to look like Sonic from the Master System. So <laughs> now it's time to move on. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Blimey. The only thing I can see really advancing is virtual reality. Oh, yeah. I mean, VR is great at the minute anyway. Mm. I mean, but, you know, there's obviously room for improvement there. And that's the only thing really I can see getting better at this point. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Um yeah, I think I think PlayStation Five would be very VR heavy. I'd imagine. I think so. I think it'll probably come with VR boxed in. You think? Uh, I think so. Wow. Yeah, that's my that's my prediction. My PS Five prediction. You think it'll come with? That would be so expensive, though. It probably would be. Yeah, actually, be fair. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. There'll, there'll at least be an option to get to buy it bundled with a VR unit of some sort. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. All right. What else have you been playing? Um, that's right. Any more Beat Saber on cool. VR? Um, and yeah, uh, I want to start on Kingdom Hearts. 0.2 point two, 
whatever that was called, uh, Final Chapter Prologue, <laughs> whatever, uh, whatever weird name they're giving it. Um, it was like the, basically a prequel sort of to Kingdom Hearts Three. Okay. Comes out next week, so I want to get to that first before Kingdom Hearts Three comes out. Yeah, when's Kingdom Hearts Three out? Uh, next week, I want to say. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the same day as Resident Evil Two. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. Good planning. Yeah. Really, really solid planning. This <laughs> is. Yeah. So how yeah. about you? What have you been playing this week? Um, not a lot to be honest. I, I feel like time is just passing me by insanely quick at the minute. <laughs> yeah. Like I wake up, somebody clicks their fingers, my working day is done, <laughs> and then I sit down, have some food, and then my actual day is done. I'm like, oh, okay. Well. <laughs> um. So I've been playing. The stuff that we've been streaming. So we played That's You on stream, which was insanely oh, yeah. fun. That's really good. You see my game. Uh, if you're under 16, don't go watch it. <laughs> yeah. Just don't. <laughs> it was um, it was penis heavy. Wait, wait, a lot of penis. A lot, lot, lot of penis. Yeah. <laughs> Not ours. Not well. well Drawn yeah. ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. That too. Uh, to an accurate scale. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we're, we're going to try to play it again, but doing the no dick challenge. Yeah, yeah. We're going to yeah. do no di- no dick challenge. Yeah, no dick's allowed. Yeah, <laughs> which is difficult for immature people like us. Yeah, of course. But um, I think we can do it. I think so. Yeah. We'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, at least try. No promises. I've <laughs> uh, been playing a little bit of Dead by Daylight this week. I've had like, oh, a few yeah. games, been enjoying that. Cool. I've um, been playing it very casually. I'm no Dead by Daylight master like K by... <laughs> But I'm not even close. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's on Discord sometimes, like, it's a so K on Dead by Daylight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should play that again. Yeah, That's Dead by Daylight, it's so good as well. I always forget, like, how good it is until I play it. Like, I watch it play it all the time. And I'm like, yeah, this game's really cool, but I see it all the time. And then when you play it yourself, you're like, this game's really good now. I can see why people play it all yeah. the time. Yeah, seriously. So it's great. Uh, I've been playing some WWE 2K19. Nice. Just on and off. Like, yeah. I, I can't bring myself to do anything other than have random matches. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I re- the best, best fun about it, really, isn't it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I just really enjoy playing it. Yeah, yeah. It's a good game. It's really, really fun. And I'm just happy that it's good again. Yes. I just do. hope they consistently make good games from now on. Yes. And don't change things and make it shit <laughs> for 2K20 or whatever it's going to be called. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been playing a lot of Switch. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah, I've been playing Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm playing about Smash. Uh, really enjoying it still. It's just great. Oh yeah, so good. We streamed that as well, of course, and we had a lot of fun with that, which was really, really good. Yep, yep. And I've been playing a snowboarding game on Switch called uh, Snowboarding the Next Phase. Oh yeah. It's very simple. It's very basic, and it but it looks great. And it's only a tenner, and oh, yeah. it's 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 fun to play. It's maybe not as quick as I would want it to be, and the courses are quite short, but it's really easy to play. Cool. And it's fun to play. I've got other stuff that I need to play as well, aside from those games. But time has just been passing me by. So my gaming time has been sort of limited to when I've been streaming and half an hour here or there. <laughs> Fair play. Um, and the stupid thing about it is, I've just bought Skyrim. <laughs> Why? <laughs> on, on Switch. Um, seven time. Yeah. So like for someone who has half an hour here and there to play, Skyrim isn't really the game for me. But um, Denzel bought it and we have this thing where if like one has it, the other has to have it. Yeah. We've been like it for years. And uh yeah, he's bought Skyrim and I had to buy Skyrim because of that. So That's fair. Yeah. I'm looking for I am looking forward to playing it. I love Skyrim. Yeah, yeah. And I got great. stuck when I was playing it on Xbox and yeah. I'm hoping to not get stuck at the same point this point. Yeah. This time. So yeah, that's what I that's what I've been doing this week. Cool. Apart from the VR that I the uh I mentioned at the start of the podcast. Yeah, I'm sure everyone owns Skyrim at least twice. At this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I do. I'm on VR, a bit in VR, which is so far the only VR game which made me give me any sort of motion sickness. Mm. For some reason, I don't know what the, what's different about Skyrim, but I just, it hurts my brain. I'm pretty much immune <laughs> to VR now. Yeah. I think, like, when you first start VR, because obviously it's so different to anything else that you do. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Um, you really do have to adjust to it, and I think <laughs> it does take time for sure, but uh, I think I'm immune to it now. Cool. Dare I go back and play Drive Club? No, mm. but um, <laughs> I want to. And I want to play Gran Turismo. I think Gran Turismo would look awesome in VR. Oh, yeah, it'd be awesome. But um, I'm too much of a pussy at the minute. <laughs> I'm thinking, because like, Drive Club ruined my life for a little while. It just, just killed me for a bit. Yeah. I was like... <laughs> and I, was like, <laughs> like I played it, and I was like, I'm looking around the car, and I was like, this is amazing. The race started, I was like... <laughs> I can't play this. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> 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 Um, I'm thinking Gran Turismo is just going to do the exact same. Probably. But I'm hoping also it might be like Wipeout, where you can look behind the vehicle uh, and yeah. still enjoy the scenery, because Wipeout is beautiful. Awesome. And it's amazing in VR. Like that, that game mm-hmm. and that surrounding, uh, that just that setting is just honestly a sight to behold in VR. I know Gran Turismo is just track and trees, but <laughs> I still think it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Cool. Speaking of driving, I played the um, Grand Tour game very briefly. Oh, yeah, we, we talked about this last week, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so basically you, you get the show, like an episode of the show, and we transition from the show to the game when like, James driving's happening. Okay. Um, so do you have to watch the show? Uh, you can skip it if you want to. Okay. Do you want to skip straight to the driving? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But okay. uh, it's, it's, it's a good show anyway, so it's worth watching. It is a good show, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. The driving's a bit weird. There seems to be a bit of a delay between like moving the stick and the car moving. Okay. Like input lag. Um, although it was a patch uh, installed yesterday, so maybe they'll fix it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's pretty fun. Okay. It's, it's okay. How does it look? Uh, it looks like a budget game. Okay. Because <laughs> um, it was only 12 quid. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it doesn't look like, no, not, not grand, just no good, but it looks okay. It's possible. Okay. Yeah. So is it is it is it worth 12 99 I think so. 11 99 Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I'm going, so, to keep, I'm going to keep playing it because obviously uh, the first episode of, of uh, Grand Tour aired yesterday. So yes, added, it did, yeah. So added a new bit on the game. That's what um, I think is cool about it. And yeah. it's actually a really unique concept. It's very cool. I don't know if Amazon Games have actually made any games prior to this. I think this is the first one. I think. Pretty sure. So it's a good start. It's a really interesting idea. I mean, when we talked about it last week, uh, we, you know, this game shouldn't pique our interest. <laughs> But the fact that it's such a unique concept, I think that's probably what's gra- grabbed us. Mm. Um, I'm going to try it out later on today. And yeah, I, I am interested in it for sure. It's, cool. do you start, I'm assuming it's got both seasons on there already. Uh, yeah, first two seasons, I think are just one, um, all I've put down to one episode, quote unquote. Oh, okay. Like a, um, like a, like a montage type thing. I think so. Yeah. I'm going to play that a whole lot of it, but I think that's how it works. But season three is going to be the whole episode and game stuff as well. Uh, yeah, seems like it. Okay, that's a really unique concept, and for eleven ninety nine, um, I think um, well, Amazon obviously have tons of money and can probably afford to lose money, uh, yeah. um, and that's why it's so cheap. Because originally this was priced at like twenty five quid, yeah, it came but a lot. for twelve quid, I think it's probably going to entice a lot more people in mm. than maybe twenty five pound would have. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to trying it, and it does seem interesting. Yeah, nice to platinum too. So, that's good. oh really? Seems like it. Okay, yeah. right, good. Yeah. So, uh, bonus. Cool. Cool. Um, I think I've had it for good video games. Is there any, anything else you can think of? Anything no. Anything happened? No, <laughs> not at all. No. no. All I can tell you about is my boring week, honestly. <laughs> like, the, my week has passed so quick. Like, I feel like I was only sat here, like, a few days ago. Yeah. Like, maybe a few hours ago, actually. It's, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's just flown by, isn't it? Yeah, big time. Um, just looking for any sort of news that's happened. Um, oh. Like Bungie, uh, Bungie left uh, Activision. Yeah. And now they're going to be making Destiny by themselves, which will be interesting. This is two major developers that Bungie have left now. Yes, yeah. So they left Microsoft and they left Activision. Yeah, interesting. Is it them that are the problem? <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe they just made enough money now that they don't need anyone anymore to so just go out on their own. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, Activision's just the publisher. Yeah, that's true. So I mean, they're just publishing the game. Yeah. So I mean, realistically, you would think they wouldn't have that much creative control over it. Yeah. Because they're just the publisher. They... Be like, right, okay, so this is under the Activision umbrella. Here's some money and go make your game. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'm. It's, it's a, to be honest, it's a weird one. Destiny players were like rejoicing that they're taking their game back. But it's like, <laughs> what do you mean taking their game back? This is like, yeah. All you know is it's under its Activision umbrella. It's... Who's to say that Bungie are going to piss off and do their own Destiny Three or whatever and make it incredible? Yeah. Who knows? Interesting. Interesting to what the future holds for Destiny. To be honest, I couldn't care less. No? No, you, not you really. You like, Destiny? I know, I like, I, I, no, I'm not done with Destiny, but <laughs> I just don't care. Yeah. I don't care enough <laughs> about them leaving these places to really give two shits about it. <laughs> that's fair enough. And as long as the game comes out and it's still good, then that's all that matters, really, isn't it? Honestly, yeah. I mean, people are making a big hairy deal of it. It's like, it shouldn't really matter to you that much. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 looks awesome. Oh, yeah, Mortal Kombat yeah. 11 does look awesome. <laughs> Uh, interestingly enough, Ronda Rousey is Sonya Blade. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I heard about that, actually, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And I saw a pretty cool fatality where, um, like, a guy, like, phases through the opponent and punches him in the back of the head, and their face flies off. Oh, yeah, I saw that, actually, yeah, it's awesome. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, it seems like a lot of the WWE guys were at the launch event, because, um... Oh, uh, yeah. Xavier Woods was, uh, like, Shao Kahn. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, um, uh, Zinia Vega was there, dressed as Jade. Yeah. Awesome. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, Kobe Kingston was there and Cody Rhodes was there as well from uh, yeah not every um, so interesting yeah I think those guys are sort of very game 
real, uh, centric anyway. Yeah. I think good. Cody Rhodes, I mean, well, was it Cody Rhodes? I, I, my, even it was Kenny Omega, wasn't it, that had something to do with Street Fighter? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think Cody Rhodes is a big gamer anyway. Cool. Um, but again, he's someone I just couldn't give two shits about. <laughs> Bad day. Thought he was okay in WWE. Um, I've not really followed his career on the Indies. Can't stand his bleach blonde hair, so he can fuck off. <laughs> Bad day. <laughs> uh, saw some me- uh, Metro Exodus gameplay. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure about it, if I'm being honest. Mm. Uh, it looks okay. I'm to be honest. They've opened it up a little bit now, because obviously the, the other two are quite linear. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this is like, it's not full open world, but it's semi-open world. Uh, I'm not sure about it. Uh, I think it'll be, I do think it'll be, I mean, it looks good. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, graphically, it looks really, really amazing. Uh, I'm just not sure I'm bothered about it. I like okay. the other two. I really do. I think they're really good games. And if you've not played them, you should. I should. I played the first one ages ago, back when they both came out. I played the second one out. I own both of them on PS4, so I should get out of that. Yeah, I mean, if you've not played them, they're either free or cheap. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> there's really no excuse, but um, fit them in when you've got a little bit of time and nothing else to play. But this yeah. one looks okay, but um, <clears throat> we'll see. We should have it yes. prior to release, mm, and we'll talk about it more then. Yes, good stuff. Um, right, to so wrestling. Wrestling! Uh, and did you take it UK happened? Oh, man. Ugh. It was pretty, pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> what is quite interesting is, um, like, the people that weren't interested in NXT UK before, <laughs> like, are now interested in NXT UK. Yeah. Because their Twitter following went up substantially oh, really? <laughs> uh, nice. during and after TakeOver. Wow. So uh, I think they made a pretty big statement with the show as i thought they probably would yeah and the show was it was it was really great i mean we watched it together and we were sort of just blown away by every match and it was just a really really great show from beginning to end yeah it was awesome uh to kick off with uh most mountain aka Tyler Bate and trend seven versus uh zach gibson and james drake and it was really really good <laughs> like holy shit yeah it was great um I yeah i mean it was just so good it started off pretty slow mm-hmm. mustache mountain were dressed in um like tribute gear for the British Bulldogs. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, of course, uh, the Dynamite Kid recently passed away. Oh, yeah. Sadness. Um, but the match itself, it, I mean, it, gr- it really grew into a, a dangerous spot fest. Mm-hmm. Not spot fest, but like there was dangerous spots in the in the match. Oh, yeah. Like where um, I think it was James Drake flew out of the ring and knocked Tyler Bate off of Zach Gibson's shoulders <laughs> yeah. in like a doomsday device. yeah. Maneuver and it was crazy and unnecessary, but it looked awesome and we marked out. So yeah. uh, it was <laughs> just, it was just really, really good. I mean, it was always going to be, I think. I think both of these teams were both capable of putting on just incredible matches. Oh, yeah. And for the first match of the night, you're like, how is this show going to yeah. follow this? Yeah, seriously. Oh, it was so good. Uh, as for predictions, um, I said, uh, Match of the Round will win. Uh, but you correctly predicted that uh, Zach Gibson and James Drake would win and become the first ever champions, and you were right. Yep. Um, so, yeah, good one point to you. I just find it was too obvious that Mustache yeah. Mountains would win. You're probably right, yeah, that's fair. I think they'll win them down the line. Oh, yeah. This is just like I thought it was too obvious when they had the Women's Championship tournament that Tony Storm would win. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she didn't. But, um, yeah, I think Mustache Mountain will win the belts at some point down the line. This just isn't their time yet, and I don't think they need it i think it's good that um a division is going to be built around somebody who isn't already established to a fan base you know outside of wwe that makes sense yeah that's good. so obviously you know the people who watch wwe and wwe only um maybe won't know who zach gibson and james drake are yeah so yeah. it's good now that they're going to be featured prominently as the first ever tag team champions. Hmm. And the belts Good. are beautiful, by the way. Yeah, we've got some, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, so we had uh, Travis Banks versus Jordan Devlin. Or did we? Uh, so Devlin and Zach Banks before the match and as he was coming down to the ring. Um, so he got taken out of the match. But then he was replaced by none other than Finn Balor. Which the is man. so cool. It's so cool. The man who trained Jordan Devlin. Yeah. Um, a really cool moment because obviously Jordan Devlin has had that sort of stigma on him since... <laughs> The first UK Championship tournament back in 2017. Yes, when they haven't come down as basically little Finn Balor. Yeah, leather jacket, <laughs> yeah. same haircut. Similar music. Yeah, and it was just, it, it, it looked and felt weird at the time. Yeah, yeah. But Jordan Devlin, since then, he's gone away. He's, you know, he's really grown into an unbelievable professional wrestler. Oh, so good. 
And he, he, you know, he's not shit Finn Balor or budget Balor or <laughs> anything like that now. He's a good Jordan Devlin. Yeah, exactly. That's what he is. And, <laughs> Absolutely. But I thought it was a really cool moment for Finn Balor and Jordan Devlin to come face to face after all of this. And yeah, it was really great. I mean, I feel for Travis because yeah, I wanted him. I thought this really could have been match of the night mm. because both of these guys are super talented. They do. Uh, have their match on the tapings that happened the night after. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's good. So we will get to see it. Awesome. It's just a shame that we didn't get to see it that night. But to a degree, I sort of understand why. I mean, obviously, they wanted to make TakeOver. They wanted people to talk about it. What better way to talk about it than to have one of the most popular WWE superstars face off (laughs) against the person that he trained? Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool moment. Um, Cool. And Finn won, obviously. Um, but it was a great match a great match yeah it looked good it, it didn't like squash him or anything like that it was a, he had a good showing yeah, that was the worry we were like yeah, I yeah. This, we, we were all sat there when Finn Balor came down yes. I mean the, the ovation was unbelievable yeah, yeah it's crazy um, and we were sort of worried that it was going to be a squash and at the beginning of the match we thought oh no it's going to happen isn't it it's going <laughs> to yeah. drop kick him in the corner coup de gras and it's going to be all over but thankfully that didn't happen and Jordan Devlin really did give him a great match and it really was a great match yeah so good Good stuff. Uh, so we had uh, Dave Mastiff versus Eddie Dennis in an ODQ match. Um, oh, uh, of course, just uh, going back to Finn versus Jordan Devlin. Predictions, we could oh, yeah. obviously <laughs> uh, null and void because yeah. we both, I mean, we both had Jordan Devlin to win anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, well, but, anyway. Yeah, it, it, but it wouldn't matter because he didn't fight Travis Banks. So. Yeah, so yeah. Null and void. So, yep, Dave Mastiff versus Eddie Dennis in an ODQ. And it was really good. Like, Dave Mastiff should not be able to move like he does. No, not <laughs> at all. Size, no. not move that, like that. I mean, Dave Mastiff is a big man. Like, oh, yeah. all over. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's, he's, he's got that kind of body shape that looks immobile. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean that in a horrible way. He's no, no. just a very big man. He's a circle. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a circle. He is. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, so this, pod, this well, thumbnail is going to be Dave Mastiff as a circle. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope Dave Mastiff never sees it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, we're going to be go- doing, like, it, we're going to be going to, like, indie shows and stuff. <laughs> and oh, if yeah. one day we turn up at NXT UK by some sort of miracle, <laughs> Dave Mastiff's going to be like, I saw your thumbnail, <laughs> dickheads. <laughs> and it's going to beat the oh. shit out of both of us at yeah, the probably. same time. Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there will be circles. Yeah, you will, yeah. Flat yeah. pancake circles. Flat circles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like, we'll be like them cartoons, you know, like when someone gets squashed and like, they float. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Uh, this yeah. match had no right to be as good as it was. I mean, oh, yeah. don't get me it's wrong, so both these guys are super talented. Oh, yeah. And I think the um, no, D- no DQ element helped it a lot. Definitely. But when you have big man matches, sometimes they can be sluggish and not very interesting. Yeah. But this was the complete opposite of that. Yeah, seriously. And these two were just doing insane stuff to each other. And also, Eddie Dennis, how strong are you? Yeah, seriously. Greatness. What the hell? Yeah. It's like, we were saying this when we were watching it, but like Eddie Dennis, he's not like a muscle man. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's not like built. He's, he's tall, and but he's not like massive and muscly. Yeah, he's not like John Cena. He's just yeah. all muscle. Or Tyler Bay, like yeah, a yeah. freak of nature strong. But it turns out he is a freak of nature strong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jesus. So they good. Um, so yeah, match ended with uh, Dave Mastiff doing like a cannonball into Eddie Dennis through a table. And uh, yeah, so Dave Mastiff won, um, which I predicted. So that's another point to me. Yep. I went for Eddie Dennis to win, didn't I? Uh, yes, you did. Yeah. Okay. So it's one all. Um, so then we have uh, Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley for the Women's UK title. And again, very good. Yeah. Really good. Really, really good. I mean, Tony Storm is great anyway. She's had a bit of crap recently, and it's great that that's sort of been put behind. And to be honest, you don't even see it spoken about now. No, seriously. Like everything with on the flash internet, the it's a flash in the pan. You're right. Yeah. Um, you know, these things happen, then they go away very, very quickly. Yeah. I hope Tony Storm, I don't know if she has, I haven't looked. Um, I hope Tony Storm does come back to social media. Oh, she, because has, yeah. she, she has. She has? Yeah, she's back. Okay, now. that's good. Um, because something like that, you know, isn't going to be around forever. It's not going to be what she's known for. No, no. Um, she is in charge of her own destiny and people have already stopped talking about it. So yeah, exactly. it's great. It's all good. But a really good match. Um, Rhea Ripley is a superstar. Yep, definitely. 100% a superstar. I know she's been doing the, she's been doing uh, NXT normal. Oh yeah. Um, Over the last few days. Oh, I think cool. she's been teaming up with uh, Shane Thorne from... Uh, TMDK or uh, TM61 sorry who, well, as they were in WWE uh, yeah, yeah. because cool. one of them has now 
um, had his release. Oh, uh, yeah. At his own request, not because WWE mm. were releasing him, he's just had a kid, so he's moved back to Australia. Ah, so fair. Shane Thorne remains from TM61, um, and he's been teaming up with Rhea Ripley, and they've been taking on Ricochet and <laughs> the woman from... Someone else. It was Ricochet's new girlfriend, oh. but she's the one who was in the um, American Ninja Warrior. Um, drug. Casey Catarzano, something like that. Sure. But she was in the Mae Young Classic. Casey uh, Catarzano. And now she's in <laughs> NXT as well. So, cool. um, okay. yeah, Rhea Ripley, I mean, you're bound to see more of her anyway. Yeah, yeah for sure. Regardless awesome. of whether it's in UK. And she doesn't need to be there. <laughs> she could be on main TV and make an impact, in my opinion. But yeah, she's great. Um, I think to start off the Women's UK division, I think it was good to have her there. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, yep, yeah, it's another great match between the two. Um, and Tony Storm ended up winning. Um, it was a shocking victory. But I think we both had uh, Rhea Ripley to win, to yeah. retain. But uh, no, Tony Storm overcame and uh, won. Fair play. Yeah, um, I was shocked. I have to be honest, I yeah, was really too. shocked because Rhea Ripley hasn't had it that long. I mean, she's had it. I mean, I, we saw it at the tapings in August. Yep. People didn't see it on TV till October. True. So to us, she's had the belt for ages. <laughs> yeah. To people, she hasn't. Yeah, yeah. And, you know... Yes, she's been featured prominently on NXT TV since winning the championship, defending it and stuff like that. But I still thought it may be a little too early for her to lose it. But apparently not. Yeah. Tony Storm is awesome. And I feel like this is a great story anyway. Oh, yeah. And I think they will have a rematch. I don't think they have... I mean, NXT doesn't need changes like the main roster does, so I'm sure she will get a rematch. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, um, yeah, it was a great match. and I'm really happy for Tony. I mean, she is... I mean, she's 23 years old. Wow. <laughs> She is the face of the women's division going forward. Yeah, definitely. Whether it be NXT UK, NXT normal, or main roster, she is the the future of the WWE women's division. Yeah, for sure. She is a superstar. Same goes for Rhea Ripley. Awesome. Yep, for sure. Good stuff. And then, of course, we had the main event, which was uh, Pete Dunne versus Joe Coffey. Holy shit, this match. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. I mean, um, it was just ridiculous. It was an absolute war. Yeah. <laughs> a war of adrenaline for half an hour and more. Yeah, seriously. They so just good. beat 10 bells of crap out of each other and it was crazy. It was it was just two guys going in there who and they were obviously told just just do what you do best. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Slug it out. Give us a match of the year candidate and they did. Oh yeah, for sure. People are talking about this for a long time. Um there's so many false finishes, uh, so many kick outs of finishes and things like that. Uh, which is awesome, and yeah, it was so good. Not much to say about it, just go watch it, it was amazing. I mean, <laughs> uh, they they tried and botched an insane spot from the top rope. Oh yeah, like so, yeah, yeah, one of them fell off, and then they went for it again, and they both fell off. So I'm not sure that's supposed to happen, or... I think so. Yeah. But, I mean, the fact that they even went back and did it again after Joe <laughs> Coffey took that spill, yeah, yeah. it was like, what are you doing? Yeah. But it was, it was awesome. They put on an amazing show, and it was, I mean, t- take over overran, but... It's on the WWE yes. Network, so does it matter? <laughs> no, of course so not. At that no. time, Vince McMahon was on the Stone Cold Podcast. He was like, oh, wait, we're overrunning, but this is my network, so who cares? Yeah, Let's exactly, just carry yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is, this is and it was just, it was awesome. Yep, so good. Um, so after the match, which uh, Peter won, of course, we took both so point each. Yep. Um, it was, um, victory was interrupted by none other than the debuting Walter, who is a massive individual. Um, <sighs> I mean, he awesome is. And is awesome. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> is a... He is a unit. Yeah. <laughs> but, he, I mean, you can see why WWE wanted to sign him. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, he's just... He's, he's just got that presence about him. You know what I mean? He's got that... He's just got that look on his face. And he's built. And the music. Yeah, everything. It's just... It. it was just a great moment. The crowd went ballistic. They were singing along with his entrance music. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> just seeing him and Pete Dunn like, squaring off in a WWE ring... It was just completely goosebump inducing, yep, and I cannot <laughs> wait to to see this rivalry pan out. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. I'm so happy that we're going to the tapings <laughs> in Coventry next month. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I just can't wait to see Walter there, uh, and it, it's gonna be amazing. And I just want to tell you that I called it. Yeah, you did. Fair play. I feel like I should get a bonus point. You should. We're not going to. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, ending in draw, basically. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Take a bonus point. You win. Yes, you win. You predict Walter. No one's gonna that coming. Um, so yeah, fair play. Uh, and he wins. And also, uh, Walter killed Joe Coffey, so rip. Uh, yeah, rip. 
a ma- <laughs> an enormous big poo. I mean, yes. Jesus. Yeah. Like st- <laughs> it was just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't wait to see Pete Dunne versus Walter. That's going to be so good. Yeah. I can't see the animal versus Walter. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I know he did make his debut in ring oh, yeah. at the tapings the night after. Oh, awesome. So we've got a couple of Walter matches to look forward to. Uh, I assume nice. the first night of tapings will be this coming week's NXT UK because the week just well, this week's was uh, the stuff they filmed before TakeOver. Oh, okay. So the people that okay. weren't on TakeOver, like Ligero and people like that, their matches uh, are showing on this week's NXT. I see. So it's okay. just like normal NXT. So, you know, like they film um, the week after NXT before TakeOver. Ah. They show their matches. Oh, so it's, like, it's the same same sort of thing. Oh, cool. And okay. it looks like also we're down to one hour a week, which is Thank um, a good thing. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Um, cool. So that's NXT. Uh, let's quickly blast through one back down. Not much happened. Uh, um, and I haven't seen them either, so good. Fair play. Uh, so, Richard McMahon arrives on Raw, first thing, riding a limo. Um, and then that's kind of it. Um, Vaughn comes down, um, says, Vaughn, this, uh, Vaughn, that's scared of me, something, something, at these hands. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Interrupted by Baron Corbin, who says, you're not good enough to beat Lesnar. And then Corbin legs it, and Vaughn does it after him. Uh, in the backstage, Vaughn murders Sunil Singh. Rip. Um, and then Elias, Paul, Elias sings about, uh, Corbin being in hiding in uh, McMahon's limo. There. Um, so he attacks the limo, kills the driver, rip, uh, <laughs> smashes up the limo, rips the door off, uh, Corbin legs it, uh, and then Vince comes back to see his uh, limo destroyed. Thanks to Bourne. Um, he finds him $100,000, which Bourne's like, that's bullshit. So Vince's like, alright, you're out of the championship match. Rip. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Bourne <laughs> versus Lesnar is now off. So Sam Braun's is, injured, right? Yeah, he's injured still. He's saying he's in shoulder um, or elbow, whichever one it is. Yeah. Now, uh, to be honest, the way this all pans out has my has me. Uh, I don't know where what happens now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> so any other? Uh, oh, I know what happens. Oh, but after that, I don't know what going forward. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah. happens. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yes, me neither. We'll see. I think we had like a, a skip all match between Wanda Rousey and Sasha Banks versus Nia Jack and Tamina. We've seen this before. Um, to fuck with it every week. Some variation of it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I skipped that. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Um, I hate that. The, yeah. I hate when they do like the challenger and the, the champion teaming up with each other. Yeah, like, yeah. Like there's some mutual respect when you know full well <laughs> that the challenger is going to attack the champion or vice versa yeah. before the event that they're fighting at. Yep. Do me a favour, WWE. We've been seeing this for 30 plus years. <laughs> yeah. Sasha Banks needs to turn heel as well. That needs to happen. Because there's a phase. Season, yeah. Never happening now. We've, we've been saying it for years. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, since we started this podcast, I think Sasha Banks has been a face. Yeah. So I think um, we might as well just forget that idea. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, after the match... Uh, I'm still w- waiting for it to turn on Bailey. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So after the match, Wanda and uh, Sasha Banks um, say, I'm going to make you tap the rumble. No, I'm going to make you tap the rumble. No, I'm going to make you tap the rumble. Mm. Etc. Um <laughs> So then we got to uh, <laughs> a queue of people outside Magic Man's office wanting to be the new person in, you know, main event Rumble against Lesnar. And who comes out? But Jerry Lawler. Uh, so as you can see, uh, Lawler versus Lesnar at the Rumble confirmed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be uh, an okay match. Yeah. They'll probably let Jerry Lawler do the pile driver. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, pull the strap down, do the pile driver. Brock Lesnar will stand straight back up, F5 him a hundred times, and uh, it's all over. Still the champion and uh, rip. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so we had uh, the Royal Five versus Lucha House Party yet again. Um, there's a backstage segment mid- mid-match, which is weird. Um, revival win by the Nanigans. Um, Metal League's foot was on a rope, and the other Revival member like pushed it off before it probably noticed. Um, so yeah, it's weird for you to continue this. Well, from what I read, uh, or have been reading this week, the Revival have actually asked for their release following that match. Uh, yes, which surprised me. Um, it doesn't surprise me either, because they've been really... Misused. I think that's probably an understatement in truth. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, I'm. I just feel sorry for the revival because they were awesome in NXT. Came to the main roster. Had some. I've had some really terrible luck with injuries. Mm-hmm. And I've just been very, really misused. Yeah, seriously. Um, I can see them leaving. Yeah, they're so good in NXT as well. It's just the same. They're just getting wasted. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I thought their Lucha House Party fighting days were over. Yeah, yeah. But apparently not. And I just, if they leave, you can't blame them. I think there's worry in WWE that they would leave. Yeah. And the one place that obviously you can see them turning up is uh, AEW. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that would be WWE's loss, for sure. 
but at the same time, it would be their own fault. And WWE would just have to put that down to them stupid selves. Yeah. Really and much. the way they've booked this really great tag team in ridiculously terrible ways. Yeah. Maybe the Ascension should leave as well. De- <laughs> deface paint and they go to AEW as well. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were good as well. Um, yeah. Uh, so we had uh, Virgil Man coming down to the ring. Who gets immediately interrupted by John Cena, who wants to face Lesnar at the Rumble. Of course he does. Why would he not? Um, yeah, it mentioned how The Rock, Stone Cold and Brock, Brock Lesnar all left back in the day to focus on different things. Which is kind of ironic, considering Cena's just left to come to uh, focus on different things. Yep. <laughs> um, Remember when he had that feud with The Rock? Oh, yeah. He's like, I will never leave. Yes. I will be here forever. You've gone away and done Hollywood movies and blah, 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 blah. And so I took the piss out of him for it. <laughs> yeah. We all back from in Bumblebee. I hope um, <laughs> bu- um, uh, B Squared comes back. Uh, who? Bob Buchanan. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, has a rap battle against John Cena. Oh, God. Uh, but raps that, about John Cena going to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he needs to be B squared. I'm not having him being Bobby Cannon. He needs to be B squared like he was with John Cena. What a weird combination of people. That's so strange. I'm sure um, Bobby Cannon looks fondly. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Looks back fondly at that memory. Yes. Um, so he said, like, ruthless aggression thing. He's like, I've got one thing these people don't have. Ruthless aggression. I was like, hey, remember when I said he that? He didn't out? say that. Yeah. He said, remember, he said, hey, remember when I said that at one time all those years ago? That's Aldo, right? You see, guys, right? <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> Dumb. Um, so no, he was interrupted by Drew McIntyre. Yes, please. Um, he was interrupted by Baron Corbin. He was interrupted by Finn Balor. Uh, fatal four way, anyone? Yes, if that happens. Uh, uh, if <laughs> if Baron Corbin's no longer a member of like the authority or in any sort of management position of any sort, why is he still wearing a suit to wrestle? Who knows? This is a new gimmick. That's a new, this is gimmick now. Suit man. Sure. <laughs> um, I do hate that. Every time like you. You become affiliated with any sort of management role. You just have to wrestle in a suit. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Strange. Uh, so yeah, it's had a bit of a fight and uh, Drew McIntyre was left standing, which is good because it makes him look strong. Um, He's a big, strong boy. He is. <laughs> so backstage, Jinder Mahal wanted in the match. Yeah. Um, and if he, So you got a match between Finn Balor. So if he can beat Finn Balor, he gets to replace him. Mm. Um, Which he didn't. Surprising. Shocking, I know. Yeah, if, uh, I think if Jinder would have won, the internet would have melted. There'd yeah, be no internet anymore, it'd be ripped. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. This podcast wouldn't exist because no one would be able to go on the internet. <laughs> yes. Um, so then we had uh, Nikki Cross debuting. Yay. It was the Ryan Squad versus Bailey, Natalia, and Nikki Cross. Cool. And just debuting to face, which is a bit weird, but I'm okay with it. Sure. Um, why is she separated from Sanity and still has the Sanity music? Yeah. Has Sanity taken over w- Raw and SmackDown? Ugh, who knows? The answer is... WWE have said that these guys are going to be bouncing between Raw and SmackDown until one of the brands signs them. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, basically, that's... WWE don't have a clue what to do. Yes. How did best Sanity been? I think it's is Killian Dane injured. No, no. Oh, they they, they, t- they turned up on SmackDown the other week, didn't they? Oh, did they? Oh, you remember when we were like, "Yes, Sanity have uh, attacked <laughs> these people that were involved in the tag team title hey. thing." Oh yeah, and then they went away. Then they're not, they're not <laughs> be seen again. Yeah. God damn it. Fuck's sake! I mean. God. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I'm struggling enough today as it is, but yeah. this, uh, this added WWE stupidity of this is a new era, things are going to change. You, th- you see signs of change <laughs> and then it doesn't carry on. You're like, oh. Yeah. Good. Sucks. Great. Um, so we had a uh, Intercontinental title match between D- Dean Ambrose with his annoying sirens and his, and his music still. They can go away now, please. Um, <laughs> versus Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley. And it was really good. Really, really good. Cool. Um, so at one point, there's a crazy high spine buster, like, uh, Bobby Lashley threw Seth Rollins right up in the air and, like, slammed him down, like, spine buster. Do you know, I, I love, <laughs> I love a good spine buster. Yes, it's so good. Lashley did it on a jobber <laughs> when, uh, when he first came back, yeah. and I laughed so hard <laughs> just at the, the height and impact that Lashley got on it. Yeah. I rewound it, like, four or five times just to see it again. It was brilliant. I yeah. love a high spine buster. It's so good. Um, so yeah, this, this match is really, really good. I recommend, highly recommend going back and watching it. Um, uh, so yeah, basically, uh, Seth and Dean tried to team up and take up Lasley. It worked for a little while, and then they turned on each other. And then, much of this stuff happened, they attempted a doomsday device on Seth Rollins, Dean and um, uh, Bobby. Um, which, but Seth landed on his feet, and then he did some crazy shit. It was, it was awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lee Rush got involved. Um, yes. Oh yeah, that's right. So Seth went for the stomp, um, but Lee Rush jumped up, pulled down the rope, so Seth fell out of the ring. And then Bobby Lashley capitalised, um, hit a spear to Ambrose, and won. 
So Bobby Lashley is now your Intercontinental uh, Champion. This is surprising, right? Yeah, very surprising. <laughs> Out of nowhere, seemingly. What's next for Dean Ambrose? Um, I think he's going to continue his feud to Seth a little bit. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird because obviously they've just put the belt on Dean Ambrose at the last pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Was it, it was the last pay-per-view, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. TLC? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, just, uh, Seth Alexander, yeah. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I, I'm, I was really confused by it all. But, I have uh, no problem with Bobby Lashley. No. I, In fact, I really like Bobby Lashley. I'm one of his supporters, for Me sure. Uh, I want him to do well. And since he's been a heel, he's been great. Leo that's Rush true. definitely helps. Oh, yes, absolutely. But I was just so confused by Dean Ambrose losing the championship because now I'm like, okay, so what's Dean Ambrose's role now? Yeah, yeah. What's like, you've built know? him up to be this ultimate heel. He doesn't like the crowd. He doesn't like the germs that they carry. Yeah. He has sirens in his music now for no reason. <laughs> and he wears a gold chain sometimes to wrestle. Yeah. He wears a gold chain sometimes to wrestle. Yes. Um. And he doesn't wear elbow pads, and that annoys me. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. Yeah, it's weird. I reckon I'll probably have a match, a sort of rematch at... Um... No, no, because they're not having rematches anymore. Uh, no automatic rematches, Finn. Yeah, true. Maybe we'll earn a rematch or something. I don't know. Who knows? But Bobby Lashley is the Intercontinental Champion. Yes. Uh, for me, and I, I tweeted this, and I'm going to... I think this is a great idea. You put the belt on Leo Rush. Sure. The Cruiserweight title, sorry. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, not the... Not the not the title. <laughs> Leo Rush versus Brock Lesnar at the Raw Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that'd be cool. But um, Leo Rush would get killed. Yes, he would. Rip. Rip. But put the Cruiserweight title on him. Because, you know, you want 205 to be this big thing. Let Leo Rush carry the, the, the Cruiserweight Championship around on Raw. Yeah. Let him and Bobby Lashley be champions at the same time. Leo Rush can talk about how dominant they are. Then just to the point where you want to see Leo Rush get the crap kicked out of him. Yeah. And somebody beat him for the Cruiserweight title on 205 Live. Yeah, on a pay-per-view, even better. Or on a pay-per-view, even better. Um, Do that. That'd be great. Plus, yeah. Leo Rush is really, really awesome. Vince yeah. is high on him. Uh, I, to be honest, I think that will happen. I think Leo Rush will be given the Cruiserweight title. Hmm. Um, I like it. And I just think it makes perfect sense. But the other things that I think make perfect sense, WWE seemingly just uh, <laughs> don't understand what sense is. Yes. But no, that makes sense. I like it. Um, so then we have tits. Um, so <laughs> the backstage dude goes into Electric Bliss's locker room to tell her she's up next. And she's not wearing a top because he kind of covered up the boobs with a, something. And that was weird. And I don't know why this happened. So it looks like this is, <laughs> um, this, uh, the sexiness is creeping back in again. Yeah, it seems like it, yeah. Uh, because there was a similar spot on SmackDown as well. Yeah, yeah. With Mandy Rose. Yeah, weird. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um I'm not going to say I'm okay with it. But you're okay with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, that's fair. Um, I think it's, it's, I don't know, it feels weird. I, it I does mean, feel weird because we've had PG programming for so long. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like they're trying to be a little bit edgier. They're yeah. trying to bring back what people loved about the Attitude Era. Some of that stuff should be left. Left in, left there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, to be honest, it was ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> um, I mean, some st- I'm fine with adult-themed content if they do it in a classy way. Like, I don't need to see Alexa, Gl- uh, Alexa Bliss's boobs on, on TV. I just don't. I do. I mean, uh, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I want it to be classy. Yeah, yeah. I don't need it to be the walk in, like when Triple H had Trish Trash, Trash bent over <laughs> oh, yeah. and stuff like that, or Vince McMahon having a bath with Trish or whatever. <laughs> you know, uh, Trish was involved in a lot of this perviness. Yes. Or that time when Dean Malenko was a ladies' man and had like a James Bond style Titan Tron video oh, yeah. and was in a hotel room with Lita in her bra and pants. Fair. Um, I, I want it to be, I, I'm fine with adult based content, but do it in a way where it's not incredibly pervy and goes against everything that the internet will bollock you for yeah. in 2019. Don't, 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 can't speak. don't shoehorn it in for no reason. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, don't make it unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. Um, the interesting thing is this video on YouTube, um, has like twice as many views as the main event highlights. It's like, God damn it, internet. I haven't even You're watched it myself. I saw, I saw a picture <laughs> yeah. uh, of like a still of it. Uh, I haven't watched it myself. Yeah. But you will. Yeah. Um, so, so we have, it's been like great. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, we have, uh, Alexa Lizzie talk show thingy, um, who reveals the new, uh, women's tag belts, which look decent. She's injured, right? She has to be. Yeah. She's, Alexa's still injured. She's got concussions and stuff going on. She thinks she's done? Uh, I'll be back. I think she'll be back. You think? Yeah. Okay. I hope so. I've heard some good news. Apparently she's like doing well in the, she's been back at the performance center and things. So good stuff. 
Yeah, fair enough. Good. Um, so the yeah, these new belts will be worn at the Elimination Chamber, which makes it a bit. It's a bit weird because why not hold on until Mania and do it then? Weird. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, the belts do look gorgeous. You're right. They do, they really do look great. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't think this one with Paul Heyman, which is between four. Um, just like hyping up Brock Lesnar. Sure. Uh, and then they were interrupted by Otis Dobovich from Heavy Machinery? Question mark. Yeah. Um, I've not seen the segment. I've heard it was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't great. I don't really get it. I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit confused by the whole situation. Was he there saying that they were going to win the women's tag team titles? <laughs> uh, I don't know. He just kind of was there making noises and then got taken away by Tucker Knight. The thing is, that is Otis yeah. Dozovich's character. Like, yeah. Otis Dozovich is weird. If you haven't yeah. seen him on NXT, um, he does make a lot of noises. He does act strange. It's, that's, that's his thing. I guess so. Um, stakes and weights. You know, the, you know, the noise, he does it, it during live events as well. I mean, I've seen Heavy Machinery live and like, he, the, he, he's very vocal during the matches. He's making a lot of noises. Um, he's talking a lot and it's very, very funny and it's part of his character. That's so it. for people, if people are seeing him for the first time, I can understand why you would think it is slightly bizarre, but that's just his character. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and Heavy good. Machinery aren't going to win the women's tag team titles. Yeah, but they're not. That'd be unlikely. Um, so we have the main event, which was a fatal four-way number one contender match, which is Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin versus Drew McIntyre versus John Cena. Um, and yeah, it was good. Um, there's like a super AA to Balor. Uh, Corbin tried to steal the pin, but Finn kicks out. As an end of the day to Finn, but was broken up by Cena. Then there's an AA to Corbin. Claymore kicks to Cena. Spinning DDT to McIntyre. Uh, Cena's still down. Finn Balor hits a coup de gras and wins. Yes. Uh, so Finn wins two, ma- two matches uh, in one night. And is now the number contender for the um, Universal Championship. Good. Right. Yes. Now what happens? I, I, on last week's podcast, I said that Finn Balor was going to win the Raw Rumble. Yes. That isn't going to happen now, is it? I uh, know, because he's in the match against the Rock Lesnar Rumble. <laughs> so, how do you see this panning out from here? I'm uh-huh. so confused. I was expecting Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. Yes. That obviously isn't happening. And <laughs> for me, Braun Strowman has just been messed up to the point of almost no return. Yeah. Um... um I don't want to see Braun Strowman as a champion. I, I, I'd rather see Finn Balor as the champion. I'd rather see Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins uh, versus Dean Ambrose versus whoever, <laughs> you know, in them matches. That'd be I, awesome. Have Braun versus Lashley for the IT title or something. Well, yeah, why not? But what happens now? How do you see this panning out? Because uh-huh. Finn Balor was in line for a big push. Yeah. Is this the big push that that we're getting? Um, well, he's not going to win. I can't see him winning. Uh, I guess Brock. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Who's going to win the Rumble, do you think? If it's not Finn. Well, now I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seth Rollins? Maybe. Braun? Like, in some roundabout way? Yeah, I guess Seth could, Seth could win it and face uh, Brock. That could definitely be a thing. I guess it's happening. Yeah, I Finn. could as well, Finn but... Braun. Yeah, I don't know. I had a thought last night. Um, Where, you, you know... Obviously, the match for the Universal title, the first match for the Universal title was Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. That's true. Why could we not have this again at WrestleMania? Hmm. I'll be okay with that. But then what does Brock do at WrestleMania? Fuck Brock. <laughs> if anything, yeah, yeah. Nothing. He doesn't need to be there. Yeah. He's not, a, he's not, he's not what wrestling fans want to see. True. Vince, well, McMahon, been... Vince McMahon is deluded if he thinks that's what wrestling fans want to see. Yeah. Well, how about, um, so Finn Balor wins uh, the Universal Championship. Yeah. Reds Seth at WrestleMania. And then Braun will be, hopefully he'll, he'll by then, Braun will still be wanting revenge against Brock Lesnar, saying, I can still beat Brock Lesnar, I don't care about the championship, I want to beat Brock Lesnar, then that can be a match at WrestleMania, Brock versus Braun. Fine. Yeah. With no championship involved, just have, have the match. But then you have like, because obviously Finn got injured against Seth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the, the SummerSlam match. So maybe have like some sort of redemption feud going in and build it to WrestleMania. Yeah. And then have, then you can almost hit, you know, um, hit restart on the on everything that was supposed to happen post SummerSlam that year. Hmm. SummerSlam 2017? Question mark. Sure. 16, 17. One of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be 17. 17. Yeah. Right? 17. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then you know have what was supposed to happen then going forward. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense to me. I think it was 16. I have no idea. <laughs> no, I don't either. I can't remember. But Finn Balor deserves the big spot on the card. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, sure. he was in Blackpool on Saturday night and then he was 
And in fact, he was in Blackpool Friday, Saturday, flew home Sunday, yeah. he was on Raw and fought two matches on Monday. Yeah, seriously. Two good matches as well. Not like two half odd matches. There aren't many people really that are a better ambassador for WWE right now than Finn Balor. Yeah, seriously. Uh, for me, he should win the Universal Championship. Um, yes. But keep it at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Keep it. Yeah, why not? There we go with that. I uh, don't need Brock at WrestleMania. I just don't. I don't care. He's not no. a big attraction to me. No. Just like, I don't want to see Undertaker at WrestleMania. I couldn't care less anymore. Yeah, like Undertaker should not be coming back at WrestleMania. He's done now. Come on. Yeah, do I want to see Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels? No. Do I want to see yeah. Batista versus Triple H? No, no, I don't. I want to see fresh matches with the guys that they currently have. You know, I don't need part-timers. Yeah. There was a time when it was like, part-timers, okay, that's cool. We're going to get to see some sort of dream match. Now... There is no dream matches left to be had, in my yeah, opinion. It's all, it's all done now, isn't it? Unless Stone Cold's going to come back and fight everybody, then I don't care. That'd be awesome. So just give us... <laughs> imagine how good Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor in the WrestleMania main event for the Universal title would be. It would be so good. It would be insanely good. Come on, WWE. You know, it. you know you want it. You know you want it. I'm going to tag them in this. <laughs> Do it. This podcast. I'm going to tag them in it. When it goes live, <laughs> I'm going to be like, WWE, listen to this shit. <laughs> listen to my booking. Yes. Absolutely. Then I won't be here next week because I'll be booking WrestleMania. So. <laughs> That's fair enough, yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> so that was um, <laughs> yeah, decent decent not great but decent um, they are getting there yeah so the easy, easy title match was good many of them was good um, everything else in between was yeah. but yeah two, at least two good matches so that's good you can see what they're trying to do they're trying to give us the different matches that they promised us yeah yeah like I said last week Rome wasn't built in a day these things don't happen overnight it takes time it takes time to build it just does it takes time change isn't instant you can't go, right, we're going to change. And then all of a sudden everything's different the week after. <laughs> this, the, you know, you still have to build stories and all that kind of thing. Um, change is coming slowly, but surely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. We will get there. Yes, we will. Slowly but surely. Um, right, so it's back down. Um, so it starts off with Becky, Becky Lynch backstage getting interviewed. Artists, he's getting ready, ask if he's uh, ready for Asuka. As he answers by going down to the ring. Uh, on the way, it's he runs into heavy machinery. We are making an egg, tuna, and pancake smoothie. Nice. Mm. Uh, with which Becky takes a sip. And uh, yeah, gross. Why? <laughs> uh, again, this is all part of Heavy Machinery's sort of gimmick. They like eat a lot of protein stuff because, you know, they're big guys. The whole yes, thing they. is steaks and weights. Yes. Um, yeah, that, that's it's their gimmick. I know it's weird. I know that it's weird. <laughs> but give them a chance. Yes. You failed to mention on Raw that EC3 was shown doing nothing backstage. Oh, yeah. I about that. Was that um, mid-match? That You know when you said that there was a, a mid-match segment like, yeah. during the revival match? Was that the EC3 one? I think it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he was he, he was silent, wasn't he? Just smiling outside of Vince McMahon's office. Uh, yeah, he looked at the camera, winked, and then yeah. pulled it off from yeah. I think there's big plans for him. I really do. I hope so. People hope so. were moaning about the way that the new call-ups were handled this week. Hmm. Um, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, so, interesting. Because what we need to remember is that some people won't know who these people are. True. People don't Very watch true. Impact. People don't watch NXT. I still don't know why. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. But... You have to, in some senses, you, you can't just have EC3 turn up. Some people are going to be like, well, who the fuck's this? <laughs> yeah. He's a big muscle man. Who knows? Was that Derek Bateman from uh, the original <laughs> NXT? Yeah. God. Um, so yeah, so Becky comes down to the ring and says, I'm going to be Asuka. And Asuka comes down and says, nope. And then uh, the iconic interrupts. We make some uh, annoying Australian noises. Mm. Um, so that's the thing. <laughs> I do love the Iconics. Sure. I hope they win the tag team titles because it will boil some piss yeah, on the would. internet and I will love it. Yeah, I like Peyton Royce, Billy Kay. She's crap in the ring. Yeah, she's But they're great. very funny. They're, yeah, pretty funny. Um, yeah, I like them too, to be fair. They're good. Um, so I had a match between Becky and Peyton Royce. Uh, Becky punches Peyton in the throat. Ouch. Yep. Uh, but uh, yeah, please match. Becky Peyton's really good. Like Peyton it. is really good. Yeah. Um, she was good in NXT. Uh, it's just, I, mean, I like the Iconics and they, they are perfect together. Yeah. They need to be given more of a chance in ring, I think. Uh, I mean, I know Billy Kay isn't the best, but between them, they could be a really good heel tag team. Yeah, I think so. Especially now we are going to have a tag division, uh, and that's that could work really well. Uh, they yeah. could like cheat to win, all that sort of stuff. They they are talented. They just need to be given more of a chance to show it. Peyton Royce is really good. Yes, definitely. Uh, so definitely, happens, definitely the standout. Yeah, for sure. With Becky wins. Uh, so then uh, there's a match between Asuka and Billy Kay. Uh, as Billy gets on the leave, Asuka grabs and throws in the ring, and then st- the ref rings a bell. So screw it, why not? Sure. <laughs> uh, Asuka wins in like a second with the armbar. Well, she, she tries to use Becky's armbar, and then Billy K gets out of that, and she locks in Asuka lock and wins. Which is pretty much all match. Poor Billy. Uh, <laughs> poor Billy. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Um, so then Asuka and Becky having a standoff in the ring, and then they're interrupted by AJ Styles? Question mark? Sure. Triple threat for the women's title at uh, Raw Rumble. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. That's going to happen. Um, yeah, AJ walks around the ring, goes into the crowd, and. Uh, into the back 
uh, to do a contestant stand with some uh, actors. I mean, uh, fans. Yeah, fans, real fans. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're actual fans. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Mm. No um, actors, just like the Daniel Bryan uh, segment from the other week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real fans, not yeah. not actors. No, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he starts handing out some t-shirts, uh, but they're attacked by Daniel Bryan. Uh, fight ensues, and then Daniel Dan Bryan gets put through some dogs on the table, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's the thing. That's for you, that for you continues. That's I like to think awesome. of it as a, a table made of hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, a table of and hot dog match. Don't yeah. give them ideas. <laughs> TLCH. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Tables, ladders, chairs, hot dogs. Oh, God. And stairs. Yes. Stairs. <laughs> <Somebody else. laughs> TLCHS. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that's the thing. After you continue, that's going to be awesome. Um, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Asuka versus Becky Lynch is a cool feud, and I'm fine with it. Uh, I'd need Asuka to keep the championship. Yep. Uh, because <laughs> there's no way I don't see Becky Lynch involved, uh, against Ronda Rousey at some, at some, you know, uh, in some, Manor at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Sure. So I don't think she'll beat Asuka for the title. I think Asuka will keep it. Yeah. Unless she beats Asuka and then they have a champion, a champion match at WrestleMania. Um, what? Unify the women's titles? Not that they unify them, just having the match for the sake of it. Because, what they, I mean, obviously the women's tag team titles are going to be across both brands. Yeah, true. So maybe they could just unify the women's championship and have that across both brands. Hmm. That's a good one, actually. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'll be okay with that. Yeah, me too, but I don't want... I'm not really bothered. I'm, I, I'm happy for Oscar to keep the belt because I yeah. think she deserves it and it's been a long time coming. True. Um, and uh, if we get sort of Becky and Charlotte and Ronda in the ring at the same time uh, in a match at WrestleMania, that would be great as well. So yeah. there's, to be honest, there's, there's good outcomes no matter what happens. Yeah, for sure. The worry is who fights Oscar at WrestleMania for the championship? Who on SmackDown is good enough to beat Oscar? Hmm. Good question. Uh, Charlotte, maybe? No, no, Charlotte will be involved in with oh, yeah, Becky course, yeah, and yeah. Ronda. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's no way that's done. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Good question. Let's say push Nikki Cross and have her against Asuka. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Um, so then we have um, Samoa Joe versus Mustafa Ali. And he said, nope, because Joe attacked before the match starts, mm. um, slams Ali into the ring post twice, and Ali sells it like a boss. Which he's good at. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Mustafa Ali is awesome. <laughs> he's great. He's so good. Yeah. So good. And um, massive future for him. Um, these are the matches that I want to see. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I want to see Samojo versus Mustafa Ali. Yep. Um, th- that's just a cool matchup, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> Very cool. I feel like Joe's time is coming. Yeah. Jo- you know, Joe's spotlight will happen. He will win the championship at yep. some point. Definitely. Uh, but I also predict big things for... Mustafa Ali as well. Um, yeah, yeah. It's going to be... It, SmackDown has a really interesting 2019 ahead of it. Uh, I Obviously, the roster will get shaken up at some point. Oh, yeah. But uh, I think some of the superstars should stay on SmackDown, like Mustafa Ali. Um, maybe stick some Joe on Raw if Finn Balor and Seth Rollins and the likes are going to be competing for the Universal title going forward. Makes sense. Um, and he can mix it up with them. That'll be fine. I'm thinking maybe shift AJ Styles over to Raw as well and let um, the likes of Mustafa Ali and Daniel Bryan and people like that carry... Um, Smackdown going forward. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. That's not good to me. Uh, so we have uh, an awesome match between Rey Mysterio and uh, Andrade Cien Alice, or is it just Andrade now? Just Andrade. I don't know yeah. why WWE feel like they have to just get rid of people's names. Yeah, it's just shortened down to Andrade. Weird. Andrade Cien Alice sounds really cool. That's awesome, yeah. I get that it's a mouthful. It is. <laughs> but it's only the ring announcer that has to say it. The commentators can still, still call him Andrade. Yeah, yeah. That's still his first name. Yeah, seriously. Well, I have a full name, but people just call me Sonny. They don't call me my full name. <laughs> it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. hey, Sonny Garner, how are you doing? S- yeah, I'm really good, thank you, uh, Finn Steele. How are you? Are you good? Yeah, I'm really good, Sonny Garner. Thank you very much. <laughs> good, Finn Steele. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Seriously. It's like, people don't talk like that. It's, yeah. Just keep their f- fucking names. What's the big deal? I know, it's weird. Old WWE. Uh, but yeah, this match was incredible. Um, both guys are insanely good. Maybe Studio is as good as it's always been, if not better. Uh, Amos is insanely good. Um, so yeah, go watch it if you haven't seen it. Uh, Mysterio hits that pile driver thing again, which looks again looks super awesome. But the announcer has been told not to say the word pile driver, so they just call it that move, that move from last week. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll give it a name. Yeah, they'll find a name for it. You know, that's going to be if they've been allowed to do it for a second week in a row, yeah. then they'll probably be allowed to. They probably real. Th- these guys are safe guys, you know. Right, of course. Accidents happen, but come on. They're safe guys. Yeah. People, people do pile drivers every single day on the indies. Uh, people do pile drivers in Impact. <laughs> and I'm sure they, you know, I, 
I'm, I'm pretty sure they do it everywhere. New Japan has pile drivers, I guess. Everywhere has pile drivers. Just fucking let them do pile drivers. They're <laughs> yeah. safe guys. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, it's just a good, just a really good match. Uh, match ended when uh, Mysterio hits it six one nine. Uh, gets the splash, but it's distracted by Vega. Uh, Almas sweeps legs, uh, hits his hamlock DDT from the top rope. Ouch! And wins. Um, and then the advice of Nagins, which is good because it means you get to see this again at some point. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, and I, I need to see it again at some point. Yeah, it's so really good. This is the only bit of wrestling I've seen this week, and it's well, apart from like the highlights of Raw, um, this is the only full match I've seen. And this is, this is wrestling. This is what I yeah. want to see every week. You yeah, know? seriously. It's so good. Like two guys who were insanely compatible as opponents, just going out there and giving it their all. Yeah. I mean, this, this kind of match is awesome. Yeah. All these. Rey Mysterio is 44 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Isn't he's, it? he's Wouldn't arguably that? in the best shape of his life. Oh yeah. Easily. How is a 44 year old man <laughs> coming off the top rope? Doing a hurricane run to somebody to the outside of the ring. Oh god, yeah. Forty four. Uh, I know. Craziness. Canadian destroyer. Car <laughs> driver. Yeah. So good. Whew. He's awesome. I love him too. And um, Almas, uh, I think um again, massive future. Oh, yeah. Should be the one oh. should be one of the ones to help carry SmackDown forward this this year. Yeah, definitely. For sure. So then we have Tits. Tits. More tits. So, um, Jimmy, um, Jimmy Uso is invited into Manny Rose's hotel room. Um, as their, uh, Manny Rose's there, not wearing very much. He's in a bra and panties. Bra um, and panties. <laughs> Expect a bra and panties match in the future. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, as they're, um, talking, a camera guy shows up to take pictures, and then run away. But, uh, then Naomi busts in and attacks, and that's the thing. I don't know. It's weird. Um, Manny escapes, but yeah, it's a weird feud that's happening. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. I mean, Mandy Rose is okay. Yeah. She's fine. Yeah. She's fine. I mean, Naomi has been... (laughs) I don't really understand what Naomi's doing these days. She was the women's champion. She had, like, a sparkly belt and shit. Yeah. I mean, I like Naomi. I like the Usos. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird for you. Weird for you. Um, Me and Kay had a match on WWE 2K19 yesterday. Oh, yeah. It was AJ Styles versus Demon Finn Balor. Oh, nice. And uh, Jay Uso interrupted uh, <laughs> and came down to attack Finn Balor. Oh, of course, yeah. The Atlantic feud between the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was really, really yeah. good. If you're not seeing it, I'm pretty sure it's on the WWE collections on WWE <laughs> Network. Yeah, yeah. Jay Uso versus <laughs> Finn, <laughs> Finn Balor in a best of seven feud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, video games. Yeah. <laughs> it was just weird. Like, mid-match, it's like... <laughs> Down soon, day one. Well, <laughs> yeah. like, how comes Jay Uso? It's like what? <laughs> Why? Uh, so weird. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had um, Miz and Shane Rand's weird birthday bollocks, which I don't care about. So no, not at all. Um, They're still winning the tag team titles. No. Speaking of the bar interrupts, and then the match ensues between the Miz and Sheamus. Yeah. Why is this happening if they're not going to win the tag team titles? I, I, I don't want it. I know it is going to happen. Nobody wants it. I know, I know it probably is going to happen, but I just, no, I don't want to believe it. <laughs> no. Have them win it, prove no. me right, lose them at Elimination Chamber, then have the bar fight somebody good at WrestleMania. Yeah, please. I, I'm going okay with that. And if we have to, have the Miz versus Shane, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, sure. So Miz versus Sheamus, that was a thing. Miz wins at a roll-up. Uh, Miz is also in his like trousers, shirt and trousers because he's never time to get changed, I guess. Um <laughs> You didn't know this was going to happen. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. Or maybe uh, now he's going to be the general manager of SmackDown. Like that's <laughs> what his attire is going to be going forward. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so yeah, mid one with a roll up. I'll just say distracted. Um, uh, yeah, well, that's right. Shame, uh, Shane put Cesaro through the table with the cake on it. It's a cake table. Um, Semi distracted. Got rolled up by Miz and Miz wands. Um, and then there was a coast to coast by um, Shane to Seamus with cake. It was done. Well, the face Miz is really weird. I don't like it. Uh, no, I don't either. <laughs> it's it's too weird because he's yeah. not likable. No, he's a, he's a dick. Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> the thing is, to be likable, he's playing like a goofball. Yeah, and yeah. I don't like that either. Yeah, it's weird. Um, if they come out wearing matching gear uh, uh, to the Raw Rumble, I'm turning the Raw Rumble off, throwing all of our pizza in the bin and burning my house down. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. I'm going to bury you all in the back garden as well. <laughs> oh, cheers. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Um, what was that? What was that was wrestling. Oh, uh, well, you want to see Shane dressed as the Miz? No. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was an interesting week of wrestling. Two good matches, um, some really weird bullshit. With, um, but otherwise, there's our new microphone. Just um, good, yeah. Just in time. <laughs> just in time. Just in time for the end of the podcast. 
Awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's wrestling. It was weird, but fine. Sure. Um, go on, two hours. It was awesome. Yeah, great. Um, yeah. So this has been episode 87 of the Games and Grats podcast. Yep. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash games grabs. Yeah. We will speak to you next week. I'm Sonny. I'm Finn. And we'll see you later, guys. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye. Jesus. <laughs>